We're here to kick off today's race at the infamous Circuit de Monaco. Drivers will need to be on their top form if they want to take home that coveted win today. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc and Sir Lewis Hamilton and Perez. Sonoda, Joe, Magnussen and Esteban Ocon. Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, Pierre Gasly and Ricardo. Norris, Bottas, Sebastian Vettel and Alex Albon. Latifi and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
Okay, Magnussen ahead. They're on fresh softs. That's a long stow behind. Less than a second separates you. They're on fresh softs. The distance to the leader is 8.1 seconds. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. DRS now enabled. DRS enabled. Six seconds. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.
Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver?